Welcome back. Today I will be replacing the manual transmission fluid. The steps are the same for all Hondas. To start with, you need to take off the front tire to get to the transmission housing. I already have the car raised on four jack stands. There was a plastic shield over here, which I removed. I will show it towards the end of the video. When you fill transmission fluid, you need to have the car level. Place the leveler over here where you have the jack support points. It doesn't have to be perfect. In this case, though, it does look perfect. Now, this is measuring the level from front to back. Here, I'm measuring the level from left to right. Not 100% in the center, but again, it doesn't have to be. It's close enough. Here, we have the fill bolt. This is a 17 millimeter bolt. And below that, we have the drain bolt right over here. Now, this uses a 3 by 8 inch ratchet you don't need to put a socket on it just put the ratchet directly on it to open it before you drain the fluid open the fill bowl first just to make sure it's not seized or something as i said before this is a 17 millimeter bolt so i have it connected to a breaker bar i'm just going to crack it loose yep that's it now i'm going to open the drain bolt and drain the fluid Honda doesn't recommend warming the transmission oil before draining like it does the engine oil. So I'm just draining it cold. Now I'm using a half an inch breaker bar. I've attached a half an inch to three by eight adapter. It will directly fit into this bolt. Just remember anti-clockwise to open. And that's cracked loose. Now I'll just undo it by hand. Make sure you have your drain pan underneath. Make sure the washer is also removed. Honda here recommends to change this transmission oil after every three years or 60,000 kilometers. This follows the severe schedule. This is being changed after three years and about 40,000 kilometers. The drain bolt uses a 14 millimeter washer, the same as the engine drain bolt. I'm just replacing it with new. You can check if the old washer is good enough to reuse, just torque it a bit more than usual. The torque spec of the drain bolt is 29 pound foot. Again, same as the engine drain bolt. I'm using a 3 8 inch torque wrench. Now it's time to fill transmission fluid. I'm switching from Honda MTF to Amsoil Synchromesh MTF. I'll explain shortly my reasoning. You need about one and a half liters or quarts, so you need to buy two bottles. I have a funnel attached to a half an inch sized pipe. The length of this pipe is around 25, 26 inches. I'm going to pass this through the top of the engine down into the fill port. Push it in as far as it will go. Now get your fluid and start pouring. Okay, I filled one and a half liters of oil and you can see it is dripping, which means it is full. Now I'm going to remove the pipe and let the excess fluid drip out. Once that finishes dripping, then that means the fluid level is full. Now carefully remove this pipe back up. Try not to get oil all over the place. I forgot to mention, make sure you have your drain pan underneath. The fill bolt uses a 20 millimeter washer. Part numbers will be mentioned in the description. Clean the spilled oil and put the bolt back on. Torque it down to 33 pound foot. All done. Now start it up and just check for leaks. I've torqued everything down so it should be fine to make sure the gear is in neutral. That looks good. Just put the plastic shield back on, lower the car back down, and you're all set. 
Now the main question, why did I use AMSOIL instead of Honda MTF? Now there's nothing wrong with Honda MTF. I've changed, as I said before, after three years, gear change is smooth. Is it buttery smooth? No. After three years, I can feel the gears engage, especially second and third. When the car is cold, the second gear can crunch, as with most Hondas. When you go for a spirited drive, same thing. Now, AMSOIL is at 30% more cost than Honda MTF. Based on this alone, I would not recommend it. But I've seen on the forums over many years, people swearing by this product that it does a fantastic job. It has reduced gear grind. Gear changing remains buttery smooth for years. Arguments are there that this is a fully synthetic oil and it will last longer than Honda MTF, which more than justifies the increased cost. So this is a long-term test. I will give feedback as time goes on on the performance of this. Now I do expect an immediate performance gain whenever I change this MTF fluid after three years gear change is smoother. So I'm not going to attribute a sudden change in feel due to AMSOIL. Let's see how it performs over the long duration. Temperatures here get pretty hot. Uh, last couple of weeks, it was averaging around 40 degrees. Uh, so we'll see how it holds up in the heat. And I'll give you feedback over time. I hope you found today's video useful. Please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. From here, I can see the fill and drain bolt uh, inside there, but I will be removing this plastic shield so I get easier access, plus it'll be easier to film. There are two clips over here. I will remove that at the end so it doesn't fall on me. I'll get to the bottom first, remove a couple clips and a screw. I have to open this screw. There's a clip over here, and there's a 10 millimeter bolt with a nut on the other end. Uh, and the last clip is located towards the end of this plastic shield. You can use this type of tool to open clips. I actually find this harder to use. Or you can get two flathead screwdrivers. Or I'm gonna use this. I think I got this from a mobile repair kit. These are pretty thin and get under the clip easier. Just put it on opposite ends and you should be able to get the clip out. I put a ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket behind. This nut is a pain to get off. So I'm gonna hold it and then just Unscrew this. One more clip towards the back and two clips on top and then you can just pull this out. Word of advice, keep your mouth shut. I just had a full pile of dust go inside. Okay, the clip broke. It does usually break. Final two clips are removed. Now you can remove this shield. Now my assistant will explain the tools that were used today. These are the tools used today. To begin with, you need a 19 millimeter socket for the wheel lug nuts on this Honda City. Size may vary. To open plastic covering, you need a flat head screwdriver, other flat tools, 10 millimeter spanner with socket and wrench. Have a spare clip on hand as you saw previously one broke. For the MTF change, a funnel with half an inch pipe size length about 25 or 26 inches. Drain bolt washer, 14 millimeter. Fill bolt washer, 20 millimeter. 70 millimeter socket for fill bolt. An adapter for half inch breaker bar to make 3 by 8 inch output. A half inch ratchet 
two bottles of transmission fluid as you need about 1.5 liters then two torque wrenches the big one you saw the little one along with liquid gasket was used on the seal plug the seal plug is discussed next thank you let me show you something this here is the seal plug for the transmission housing when you take the transmission off the car you need to open that seal to get to a clip which will release the housing to be able to get to the gear set i can see here some oily residue around the seal which means that this seal isn't 100 percent tight or it's not sealed properly i know for a fact that local mechanics sometimes do open this to drain the transmission fluid Honda says this plug seal needs to be closed with liquid gasket. So I'll open it up and see if there's any liquid gasket around it. This will directly take half an inch ratchet or breaker bar. As I suspected, there is no liquid gasket on the threads, which means this was opened up in the past, clean and resealed without applying new liquid gasket. So I'll just clean this all up. I'll clean the housing and reinstall this. I've applied some silicone gasket. You don't need a lot. I'm just gonna screw it in. The torque specs for this is 18 pound foot. And that's it, it's torqued to 18 pound foot. To begin with, you need a 19 milliliter liter. No. To begin with, you need a 19 milliliter socket for this Honda City size. Ma wait, wait, a 19 millimeter, not milliliter. Mm. Millimeter? Annoying, isn't it? 